Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I just want to thank everybody. I think I've reached 1,150 in my uh, psychic tarot channel. So thank you very much for allowing me to reach that milestone. And I would love to uh, for you to continue supporting me. It obviously matters to you as it matters to me. Uh, and obviously my messages are important as they are important to me in what I feel the um, what, what I am guided by our, my spirits to channel. So thank you so much. Um, I am currently uh, uh, traveling, so I just brought a couple of, you know, decks, all right? I didn't bring any fortune cookies, but, you know, please bear with me. I'm going to try as best as I can to, um, you know, to be able to upload, okay? So check out my other channels. I'm Miss Servine, uh, uh Tarot, and then I'm Psychic Tarot. Um, and then I have Instagram is serving. So here we go. So intensification, something's going to be hugely intensified. Lots of wish fulfillments coming in, but mostly your powers. Okay. Moon. So you might be a Pisces or a Cancer. You might be a redhead or, you know, have silver hair like me. All right. Or most definitely also blonde. And so this is also menstruation. So full cycles, uh, in terms of like maybe, maybe menopause or maybe children, you've had children. So, you know, you've changed in terms of hormone, uh, hormones. So be mindful of that. Make sure you go to the doctor if you don't feel well and pressure. If you, the doctor doesn't give you anything and you're not feeling well, make sure that you go to a doctor that understands. Remember that every, everything that is studied by medicine was studied on men. And so they just adapted it to women, which is absolutely stupid. But anyway, I think there's a change in that, but it's going to be huge in order to bring in the change. So make sure that you look into that. So most definitely cycles. If you are having menstruation issues, I think they're going to be clearing up, okay? I also think you've been doing some sort of manifestation with the moon cycles, okay? Crescent and full moons. And I think that that's really intensifying whatever it is that you're working on. And, and your, um, you know, manifestations are really going to come through. So secret book of shadows. I think that you've been doing, as I mentioned in the, uh, in the other uh, reading, okay? Like you've been doing incantations or you've been studying a lot, you know, your esoteric, uh, you know, uh, skill right and so as i mentioned with everything everybody's psychic you just need to put in the time be able to recognize it and understand it and study it and it's practice 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 okay nobody in any field career or whatever uh uh, is born knowing. So it's important that you put in the time. So I think you've been studying. I think you've been studying a lot of like uh, spells and, and those of that nature. And I think that that's really going to, that obviously has worked, right? And you've used the moon as well, possibly also candle magic. And it's really going to come to fruition. This is also some sort of like um, higher learning. So PhD, uh, a, uh, JD, uh, masters. It could also be, um, you know, a degree. Okay. Uh, BA, BS. It can also be some sort of certification or some sort of technical, uh, like a uh, certification that you're getting. So keep on going. Uh, watch <clears throat> Tower of the South summer. So some of you might be going to summer to the south, okay? This can also be moving to the south, whether it be the south of your city or the south of the country or moving south, like south of Italy is sort of what I'm sort of sensing, right? Or the Riviera or Mexico or something like that, okay? This is also anybody that's put in for any type of naturalization or any type of like immigration documents or any type of uh, passport or anything, you're gonna be getting it by the summer, okay? By Leo season. This can also be that you are being watched, right? Uh, and you are most definitely leveling up. This can also be a new home, a new property. Um, so let me know. This can also be someone getting out of jail, okay? Or somebody uh, specific to uh, maybe incarceration that there's going to be a secret that's going to come out that's really going to liberate them, okay? That they're going to be able to get out, all right? So let me know in the comments below. Um, you guys are really good in letting me know and, and having feedback, and that always makes me um, very grateful and know that I'm not crazy. <laughs> All right, so let's keep going. So we have grounding, most definitely. Whatever it is that you've planted will be, uh, you know, will, you will be able to sow abundance, okay? This can also be to be mindful that whatever it is you're planting, people aren't eating it up and they're not really jeopardizing your uh, wish fulfillments, okay? So let's see this. And then um, uh, athemi, athemi. 
boundaries. I think you've set boundaries. This is also legal issues that you might be pending. This can be CBP, Border Patrol, uh, sheriffs, maybe something having to do with the law. But this also has to do with some sort of legal or contract or there's anything that was had to do with justice or court systems. You will be vindicated and there will be justice, okay? There's also boundaries that you have set. Fertility, most definitely, uh, Beltami is in May, I think May 1st, and so most definitely coming into union. I talked about, you know, the hand fasting and the other oracle on the other read, so check, you might want to check that out. This can also be uh, moving in together, very passionate relationship. This can also be marriage, uh, and this can either be you've already done it, you're in the process of doing it, or it's going to be in May of next year. Lots of changes, 544 on the clock, so lots of changes having to do with um, stability and money and grounding. And so, yeah, I think you've cleansed and I think you're in your female energy, okay? Um, and you're very much uh, wa uh, water, so either Pisces, Scorpio, or cancer that you are, whether you are or not, I think you've really grounded your emotions and I think that that really has helped you um, do a major cleanse for your emotions and I think that that's really gonna help you move forward. I think you've been in incubation, isolation mode. I think you've set some boundaries and I think you're really like feeding something that you're nurturing that's really gonna be births, okay? So you're gonna be, it's gonna be birthing whatever it is that you're working on. Yeah, lots of fast communication, air, imagination, all right, yeah, you might be like going like north or, or west or, or live in the northwest or live in the west north, okay, or southeast uh, or southwest anyway. So um, lots and lots of communication by winter latest. I think you're really going to be setting up by Halloween as well. It's going to be really great. Let's take one more. And then, yeah, which is caught it's security. You're going to be very secure. You're moving into a new home or you're moving into a new property or new apartment or whatever. It's going to be a great community. Very much luck here. Check out my other uh, video on this because it came out. Lots of luck. Lots of ancestor protection. Okay. Uh, very much cleansing. There's a broom there. Um, so very, very much cleansing. And this is connected to the other um, breed. So you might want to do that. And then lots of pentacles and lots of grounding, lots of growth, lots of nurturing and lots of healing that you've done. Hold on. I think I saw a basket. Yeah, there's a basket there. It's hugely abundant. It looks like it has lavender. So lots of feeling better. And if you've been having health issues, I think you're going to start feeling better. Love and light. Ciao.